Testing one, two, three, guys. Testing one, two, three. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Fankabot Bruise Day Tuesday, third strike action. This is the uh, Herb Durkin Kumite action. My name is David. Guys, tonight we are joined uh, by my friend uh, twitch.tv slash Herb Durkin, aka twitter.com slash Herb Durkin. We're going to be the guest of honor. We're all fighting him. We're also going to be a huge dog, uh, huge dog pile. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to fight him first. If you guys know Bruise Day Tuesday, excuse me. If you guys know Bruise Day Tuesday, you guys know Herb Durkin. We got 4TL. Nice. I'll play. Herb has been that dude on this channel for a very long time. From what I like to think of as the Neon Riot era. What's up, Jiffy? He's a uh, Banana Mac, Yellow Makoto player. He likes his. He likes him some SA2. He's an SA2 man. Let's see if I can. Uh, if I can deal. Maybe not. All he needs is one touch. Herb has those um, uh, the one touch kills like nothing. Are you ready? Go. Oh shit. Oh shit, that was sick. I wouldn't have guessed I could have got my medium punch there. What did I appear at the anti here and I couldn't get a punish? That's interesting. Sneaky. Cornered himself. Okay, didn't get my EX there. Wow. They can follow RBW. Hell yeah, 3 yes, RB stack game. Nice, he yeah, Kushiyagi, got the stun as well. Very well played. I think Yage is a, like a left-right parry mix-up. That banana mac, dude. The perfect banana mac. That's what she likes. Sneaky. Wow, Cartoon K beat the fucking Hayate there. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll play to Orange indeed. Just enough for that bar super. 
I'd love to pick Venka's brain one day on how to play Alex. Man. All I gotta do is jump and hit fierce a lot. Yeah, hold up toward and you press a bunch of buttons. I do an Arteus. Prepare to strike now. Okay, all that bunch of bullshit. <laughs> all that Alex guy just did. None of that was real anything. It was just a bunch of fucking mashing. I just missed my DP there. Aggressive button smashing indeed. Final round now. Ooh, well done. Oh, that's a stun! Oh, good games, Herb. Good games. Oof. My last first match tonight here, guys. I'm gonna add 4TL to the lobby here. And then Dion as well. What's up, Katie? Welcome aboard, dog. Let me add some guys to the queue here. We gotta add uh, uh, 4TL versus Herb Durkin. Then we're gonna add Dion versus Herb Durkin. Then we need to get another uh, exhibition here. And then an intermission. Exhibition's gonna be here between, um, let's see here. How about uh, Aura Aura Orange? Let's see, let's get Aura, Aura Orange versus uh, Three Venge. Okay, but first, guys, can we get uh, Neon Riot, please, versus Herb Durkin? Can we get Neon Riot, please, versus Herb Durkin? Thanks for running a rock. Let's get Neon in there versus this dude. Herb got an excellent job there of finding his spots for his uh, SA2, right? Let's go doodle, nice. Come get some games. That's the point of the Kumite, guys, get some games. Not to not get games. That doesn't make any sense. It's not a stream. Here, taste. The link is at the join command. Same link as every week. Just use the exclamation mark join command. Or just go to bruiseday.thinkabout.com. It's the same link all the time. Thanks, Bob. Think about it. Thanks, running around. Let's see, Bob, I'm gonna put him the wrong link. First, Neon versus Herb. Nice control of space there from uh, Neon Riot. Control on the horizontal and uh, you know vertical space. Here's this follow Excalibur. Nice to meet you, dude. Just got that chicken leg uh, won the day there. Here, a bunch of ding dang around. That's me. Nice to meet you, Excalibur. You down to play tonight, dude? If so, use that joint command. 
Come play with us if you feel like it. If you just want to watch, that's cool too. You win. That's one for young Neon. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world of the Let's go down. Personally, I'm here specifically for the dinging and danging. Well, that'd be this, Katie. You guys hear this? I think I can hear the vibration all the way up through the arm of the mic. It's me hitting the fucking stand of the mic. I think I can hear the vibration coming through. Welcome more Dong. Let's make it, dude. Who is good rushdown and third strike? Uh, that would be Yang, Yun, Ibuki. Yeah, those are probably the three you think of typically when you think about rushdown. Maybe a little bit of uh, Akuma in there a little bit. That being said, it's, you know those are all kind of hard characters to play. You don't get rushdown for free and third strike. You, bro. You're the best rushdown for you. Do what you want, GG's. Because it's whoever you want. Yeah, and 3S rushdown can be played with pretty much any character, but characters that specialize in it would be the twins, that's Yang and Yun, and Ibuki. Okay, this is a little bit too far for that Aroshi. Who understands our taste? I'd already forgotten, to be honest. At least for the reminder, that's true, you fell asleep at the very end. That's totally natural. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. That's not very much like you. I know it's been a hard week for you in that case. What's up, Tony? That Vism Yun, though? The Ganesian? What more ace? This is 12. 12 kind of rushed down esque a little bit, kind of. Frame looks 12 a lot for rush down. I mean, uh, 12. Yun a lot for rush down. Yeah, I think Yun is the most rushed down character in this game. Even more than Yang. Yang is, you know, could be thought of as being a little bit less aggressive, maybe. Go! This man jumped all the way in and hit him with a fucking overhead. That's wild to me. Yun's way harder to the tank. I'm sure, you know, 3S every character, I'm sure it's quite hard to play for the most part. I can imagine that Yun might be, you know, a lot harder, maybe. Herb has the corner. There's a punish. What's it gonna be? Wow, that's a Karaxis. Oh, good night, Arcane. A lot of uh, very, very productive. That's one one. Guys, we're tied up. You win. Got a lot done, dude. Now, Making preparations for Friday. We're gonna play some Bomberman Hero, guys. Just like Bomberman Hero on N64. That's a Friday stream. Tomorrow is Saints Row. Can you believe it? Also, making preparations for Thursday. Next level battle circuit online. There's a new registration process, guys. If you guys want to play some 3S on Thursday, then use that register command in the chat. Please, guys, follow this link right here. Follow that link. It's at, uh, um, in the bc 3 sventcombotcom Kind of a new, uh, new sign-up page. That's in the bc 3 sventcombotcom Go sign up for the tournament. It's going to be fun coming this Thursday. Raw Super says, stop whiffing, dog. What are you doing? Why you whiff so much? Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Er to Ers. Nice block there from her. It's good space on the sweep from our Neon Riot. Grip. Almost got stunned here. Here's a little mix up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Couldn't get the stun there. Bad punish from Neon. Uh, Herbergen. That could have been it. Nice delay, Demon. Uh, Demon. Uh, DP from Neon. Pretty sneaky from Neon there. Look how he backs off. Wow, he gets uh, Hayate. There's the raw grab. You gotta respect it. That should be stunned. Good games. <laughs> Up next, guys. Can we get X Fade, please, versus Herb Durkin? Can we get X Fade, please, versus young Herb Durkin? We got Flare. I'm gonna actually add Flare and Arteus and Dong to the queue as well. Let's get Mr. Fade versus Herb, please. They're already in there. Perfect. Good game to Neon Riot. Let 
me add some guys to this queue here. That was in order Aurora Flare from the Run Back Machine crew. And then it was, uh, was it Arteza for that? It was Arteza and Dom. Perfect. Oh, what's phasing me playing some more Oro here? Wow. Lots of Oro tonight, dude. Between uh, Neon and Fade and, uh, and Oro Oro Orange. Hmm, too far for the grab there. They both went for it. So, Tach. Nice pokes here from X Fade. Getting the job done. Okay, small punish there from Fade. At least he went for it. Not sure if Oro can get much more than that. I think Oro's punishes are not that great. You know, wow, what a reaction to even fade there. Okay. Raw Super. If the herb wants. Can't kill. Maybe can kill. Oh shit. Wow. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Artea says here, good luck to Herb tonight. Indeed, guys. Tonight is the Herb Dirk and Kumite. Herb is fighting everybody. Herb was gracious enough to jump in here at the very last minute when Goss couldn't make it. Let's please follow him, guys, at twitch.tv slash Herb Durkin, where he streams Third Strike. And twitter.com slash Herb Durkin, where he talks about Third Strike. And shares his tech videos. Ooh, same side. This could be death. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? They're whiffing on each other. Like in those... Never mind. I went for the uh, tick grab there, but uh, x too smart. Nice block. No punish, though. Again, we're seeing her not punishing these uh, DPs. Nice patience here. Again, x has very smart challenges there. Must fight, her, must fight Makoto a lot. I like how Herb is pressing all these buttons here, trying to, uh, you know, catch X-Fade, uh, trying to challenge. Oh, no, very, that's an unfortunate dropped combo there from X-Fade. Likewise, not getting the job done here, not getting the kill. Oh, was that a punch on the Hattay? Holy shit. This is set of the night so far. Yeah, Vince and KD both confirmed that Oro is a very small little dude. He's a small little old man. He's built like a fucking, you know, like a, like a ripped pug. My grandma has a uh, has a little chihuahua, a little muscly little son of a bitch. <laughs> He's ripped for being a little guy. Kind of like Oro. Ooh, good space on the swept there from Herb. That should have been good. Not really a huge risk in this case, because uh, X-Fade is not like, you know, doesn't have any like cancels, right? It's not like he's fucking playing Ken or something where you can just kind of, you know, buff for a super into low forward. All he's doing is putting out the fucking pokes. If Herb gets poked, dashing, who cares? Okay, a little too slow for the punish. I parry here from X Fade. He can kill if he can get this combo. He isn't getting it so far tonight. Let's see what we can do here. Oh no, didn't get it. Unfortunately, that's one for her. Ken says, What was that about Ken? I'm saying that, you know, we saw in that situation, Dion, X Fade had his back in the corner. He's trying to keep her from dashing. To do that, he's pressing, you know, crouching medium punch and standing medium punch, shit like that. And. We're seeing Herb occasionally dash into that kind of stuff. But, uh, but again, it's not a huge risk for Herb. Because unlike some characters that can cancel their pokes, uh, Oro really can't. So his pokes are his pokes, there's one hits. One more go. Sorry I couldn't make it tonight, everyone. I fucked up my left hand and can't play, but hopefully I'll be better tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh, be patient. Oh, that really hit her like that? Kind of makes sense. She's not invincible. Take your time. Heal up. I'm not a freaking, you know, cut handologist or anything. But I feel like it might take more than a night to get fucking healed up on something like that. Hayate. Ooh, the Aroshi. That's very fast overhead. Snacks lead a Sensu Bean, huh? 
Oh shit. Guys, if Sensu Beans were real, how badass do you guys think you would feel after eating a Sensu Bean burrito? That would be fucking disgusting. Can you imagine how fucking vital you feel after that? You'd be mad vigorous, dude. What's up, Massey? So you'd be mad vigorous. Unstoppable, Orange. I'm saying. That would gain 200 pounds, huh? Beefy five-layer sensu bean burrito, dog. Final round, go. You trend on humankind, snacks. You want to run a marathon? Something in our taste. You want to run a triathlon? Can you imagine if they freaking made like a salsa, Katie? That included sensu beans and the fucking Estus from Dark Souls, dude? Together? It probably tastes like ass, though. What more apples? Sensu bean dip, yes, doodle, yes. Right, so I'd always match Super Mario if I had a bunch of sensu bean food. I mean, it's not around the universe, I think. Okay, so we talking about video game food now, dude? Only video game food that makes you stronger, that heals you up, that fills you with vigor. Oh, wake up Karaksa? That's crazy. But again, what's the risk against somebody like, uh, against uh, somebody like, uh, Aura? Oh, no! Here we go! Oh, no! Good block? Is that a punish? Oh, we went for chip there. I don't think it was a punish. Maybe it was, I don't think it was a punish, though, but I think that uh, X-Fate had to do something there to get out. Good game to Herb. Takes it 2-0 over Fate. Can we get uh, Running Rock, please, versus Herb Durkin? We need Apples here, too. Nice. I'm going to add in uh, Spookadoodle. And Audrey Apples. A.K.A. Wi-Fi Kakikuhime. A.K.A. Fun in the Chun. A.K.A. Yapples. Katie said, I need a Mario Fire Flower for sure, huh? For sure. That's gotta be kinda spicy, you would think, right? Don't say definitely from the first game, for sure. Was it Randomator? You would feel like a Saiyan, but won't have the power. <laughs> oh no, that's true, RJ, that's true. You'd feel like you could fucking take on the world, but you're still just a flabby little human being. One video game food you would eat without question. Go, I'm without question? Dude, I'm an American. I don't question anything I eat. I just put it in my mouth and chew it up. If I'm lucky. Sometimes not even that second part. AKA Jenny Ringo, Fetly Envy. They're just capsules of snacks full of stem cells. Huh? That would explain a lot. The answer is I will eat a Sonic Ring. Huh? How do you want Sonic's chili dogs? Just with the ring. They were doxing apples. A Monster Hunter Buffet. You like Monster Hunter Massey Cell? I never played it myself. I hear it's pretty good food, though, right? The overhead. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit her fucking uh, trip cord. Wow, get the fuck off me. The rock is playing out of his mind. So Massey so says that Monster Hunter is one of his favorite series. Should I play it, Massey so? Oh no. Grips. Oh, dude knows about Monster Hunter as well. That's one for her, but it was a close one. You win. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world. Pretty good new game out, guys. I think it's called uh, I think it's called Elden Ring. I said some guys talking about it on my Twitter feed. Seems like it might be pretty good. It looks kind of like Monster Hunter, you know. It's kind of like an action RPG or something. Wow! Oh, running rap! Is this Rocky? What the hell? Look at this dude! He's got the Galaxial Brain! Oh, that's too much Galaxial Brain, though. One more, Krim. 
like a Dark Souls game, this Grim. Oh, okay. Kind of similar to Dark Souls in some respects. Okay, you can't stop playing it. What's up, Ramiro Kabzig? Hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Ramiro. Hola, senor. World and Rise is messy, so are really good for people who want to start on the series. Uh, maybe I should. They should play Monster Hunter World or Rise. I guess Rise is a new one, right? This is actually ruining my life. This Elden Ring game. George R. R. Martin helped write the story for Elden Ring. I believe is that true, Snaps? Oh no, man! Fucking Running Rock is just going. Oh, that's so fucking shady. Running Rock, dude? With the whiff medium punch and the close medium punch? You see that, Katie? Are you too busy playing Elden Ring? Because that was ridiculous. Uh oh. Oh, no. Wow, the point blank Jodon! Good game to Running Rock, man! You're playing like a man possessed. That's wild to me. Who's up next, guys? Why don't we get the likes of, uh... Aura Aura Orange, please, versus Herb. That'll be the fifth fight in the Kumite. Can we get Aura Aura Orange, please, versus Herb Durgan? I think everybody in the chat would like that very much. I know I would. How come I didn't get crossed out there? The whole point of the situation was to do this. Boom. It's supposed to make a... I'm on the wrong fucking screen. Oh, no. What am I fucking doing, then? <laughs> I'm on the wrong keyboard. That explains everything. Got orange and herb fighting here now, guys. As a reminder, guys, please get some casuals in the lobby if you guys are waiting for your turn. As long as your turn's not coming up immediately, why not? Absolutely, wait for me to finish this. Absolutely, already finished this base too. You can watch it all on YouTube. This proof, this documented proof. Good board, Jay Bomb. How's Kumite going to go great, Ramiro? Herb is a very explosive player. He has a very good color, Makoto. What more could you ask for than that? In the Kumite. You're a little spicy, right? Like you were indeed. Kind of like a like a Senzu Bean Fire Flower Burrito. Pretty much enjoying Elden Ring as well, huh? Look more bone, put me in coach, I'm ready to play. Clap clap today, huh? Today. There's the stun. That's the first round for her. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Ooh, nice period from her on the jump back. Some cheeky dashes from orange here. Oh, nice punish there from Herb. That's the scoop. Dude, Herb's playing great tonight. Good space on the Roshi, very tricky. It's the Rock Karaksa. Couldn't get stunned though. Ooh, dash up crouching short into uh, uh, Karaksa. I'll join the lobby to play some catch up idea, Ramiro. Or you can play with us if you want on stream. Here in Mexico, right? These are open to all of North America. Wouldn't mind seeing some Mexican Thirst Strike. Go for it. Crim says, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. The song guy. My Chemical Romance. That was the first big hit. 
Mexican third strike is no rugel allowed. Huh? So New Hill Studios, that's Drew in the chat, says that Oro sounds like he's uh, like Beavis muttering when he's a Cornholio. Probably have a lot of things in common, to be honest. Some KG, KG's like, Brew's Day. Ooh, Ente Yurta Fukiage, didn't get the X though. This is Envy. I'm not okay. That's not Katie saying. Bones is not gonna be in next time, dog. Are he's done with you, dude? You're dead to him. Oh, uh -huh. oh my God. That's funny how she fell over there. Okay, no punish there from Orange. Oh no! Why you press that button that close? Oh no, there you go. Oh, what the hell hit her? That's sick. Whoa! What just happened? Final round. Engage. Ooh, Schweppes. Oh, got the cancel. The herb's ready to punish it. Probably didn't go for uh, SA2 there. You gotta get the back of the corner, right? Okay, it's a challenge. Could dash up and crack with that, I believe. That sweep on Perry like that. Almost got stunned. Multiple choice. Oh, no. Good spacing. Baited the DP out. Do you... I'm gonna add some guys to the queue here if you guys don't mind. That'd be uh, your patience is appreciated. First, I'm gonna activate this dude. Okay, so what I'm missing here, huh? We gotta add in uh, bones. It says, I'm here, dude. I'm here. Look at me. Look at me. We have Dong. I don't see Dong. I don't think Dong. Oh, there's Dong. He did already up. Okay. So it was Flair, Arteus, then Dong. Doodle apples and then bones. Nice. Let me add bones in here. But first, guys, we get our first exhibition of the night. Can we get Neon Riot, please, versus X Fade? Can we get Neon versus X Fade, please, on stream? That'd be great. I'm going to add bones uh, here. We'll also add another uh, exhibition match, right? One, two, three, four, five. That's five fights. Every five fights has to have an exhibition and an intermission. This is here to kind of give uh, Herb Durkin a chance to catch his breath here. So I do these exhibitions in between. I'm going to add these guys. X Fade versus Neon Riot, please. Herb's a smoke break. X Fade versus Neon. Make sure nobody else here in the lobby is not in the queue. So everybody's already in. Everybody's in. Well, I got the picture. Well, I got the picture. Okay. I'm sure I got uh, uh, Dong. I need to get Dong in there. Are you ready? Go. So what should our third exhibition be? Huh? Sir Lord versus somebody? Sir Lord versus 4TL, right? For sure. That's the one. Like a Fortal. Ooh, man, that's the mirror match here, just like everybody always wanted. We got hella Oros in here, man. We got freaking Orange and Fade and Neon all rocking Oro tonight. You didn't hear Bones? Jesus. Nobody tell Bones what happened. I don't want to freaking scare him. Yeah, Bones got hit, hit by a fucking car, dude, on his motorcycle. Thankfully, he's not that hurt. He's wearing his leather, so we only took uh, some, some, you know, some scuffs on his knees. He's wearing shorts and leather jacket, so his upper body was perfectly fine, but his knees got scraped pretty bad. But he's all right, though, Bone. He's all right.
Don't do serious bones. No, no. He just hurt his hand, guys. He just he cut his hand a little bit. He's got a bandit on his hand, so he would have uh, he would have exacerbated the wound if he were to come play with us. I was joking about the whole freaking leather jacket thing. I don't think the cross rides a motorcycle. Maybe he does. <laughs> go for me to buy him some leather pants. Final round. Go for it. And Goss cut his hand pretty bad. But thankfully, his mom is a uh, is a nurse, so she's able to bandage it pretty good. It's worse than a normal cut, but not as bad as you know, not a terrible, terrible cut. Even, thankfully, but he, he was like, "Dude, let me fucking play." And I was like, "No, I'm not gonna let you play that." Not with the hand. Like, he showed me a photo. I was like, "No." <laughs> fucking gash himself. He's trying to fucking play some third strike, dog. No way. Not his fault, I assume. You assume wrong, boss. <laughs> it was his fault, but you know, accidents happen. They make him really bright green leather pants, he's on. Ooh, there we go. You win. Now. Is that you, Herb? Can you also rock an order tonight? Here's yeah. I say going to uh, Urian. I think when we met XFade, he was playing Urian, right? I know Fade is a Urian player. He's still very new here on the channel. He's got the top of Smurf. Gonz has knife fights on Tuesday, huh? First time he lost in months. I got a story more than what he told me. Can not play in 12, Katie? 12 is so obnoxious, man. 12 is a really unique combination of being really, really weak and super obnoxious. Tell Rock not to take it easy, I mean, he's casual, so. I know Rock Doodle, and he ain't taking it easy on you. The thing about Running Rock, he's a really nice guy, like, in terms of personality, but when he gets behind the fight, the fight stick, dude, he becomes a fucking monster. He becomes an animal. His dark side comes through, dude. Orochi Running Rock. Violent Running Rock. Let's go, Primal. I do the Q-Dog. I've learned to love myself enough to not play 12, and it's progress. Shout out to fucking, uh, to, uh, I can't think of this guy's name. Ever dread for playing 12 for a while. Is it Exo? Don't worry, Connor. Is it Locust? Oh, the tackle. Exo, we were talking earlier about a Sensu Bean Burrito. Would you guys eat a sensu bean burrito if it was like as big around as your forearm? That might be dangerous to be that healthy. Maybe your heart would explode. Oh my god! X fade! Oh my god, that was sick! That's true, KD. Ever did is fucking sick. Oh no. That's what I'm saying, Exodus. Maybe X Fade did that fucking X Sensu Bean Burrito, dude. The game's X Fade. That was great. Thank you for being our first exhibition of the night, guys. Before we move back on with the uh, the Herb Dirk and Kumite, let's have a peek. Well, I gotta add uh, Krim to the queue here first. And I feel like I'm forget forgetting somebody as well. Who am I forgetting, guys? If you guys wanna be in the queue and don't see your name in there right now, let me know. Cause I might have forgot, Steve. I've got bones in there already. Before we get back into the uh, Kumite here, guys, I want to have a peek at what's going on with uh, with twitch.tv slash fishplay street fighter, guys. If you guys don't know Twitch Play Street Fighter by now, uh, Twitch, but Fish Play Street Fighter by now, you guys are fucking up, guys. Please follow twitch.tv slash fishplay street fighter. They play all kinds of retro street fighter games, including Third Strike on that channel. Basically, it's uh, season two is five fish. Five fish. It was locusts. It's five fish, guys. That's uh, uh, berry, cherry, lime, lemon, and uh, and uh, berry, cherry, and grape. Right? Grape. And they're pretty strong in Thursday, guys. I was honored to be asked by Fish Play Street Fighter to come on as a co-commentator 
on March 22nd for their uh, Season 2 Finale Third Strike Tournament, the Fruit Cup. They're going to be having the Fruit Cup on March 22nd. I'll be on as a co-commentator. And these guys are uh, pretty godlike at 3S for being fish, after all. I mean, they are fish. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're really, really super strong. But uh, they're pretty strong. You guys are going to enjoy it. It's just lime. He's lime all day, huh? Man's on Team Grape. The fucking Fruit Cup looks what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, the Fish play uh, Street Fighter. They're going to be playing... Again, that's March 22nd. I'll be on Soap Commentator for the Fruit Cup Max. I'm so excited, guys. Y'all sleeping on grapes as fate. Tony, Tony's on Team Lemon, huh? Forte also on Team Lemon. Zest is the best. I like when Lemon and Lime t team up and they're Team Zest. I love that. Well, so it's imagine being a Lemon fan. I think Barry is my favorite, personally. But to each their own, guys. They're Neo. I mean, they're uh, they're uh, uh, Tetras from uh, uh, Glowfish. Glowfish Tetras. And if you guys don't know this channel, basically, the fish swim around in their tank. And there's software that takes their position in the tank and converts that into Street Fighter inputs. So basically, as they swim around, they're inputting things. And uh, you can watch them play through S. It's a great show. It's always very entertaining. You can bet flakes on them. And they're having their end of season third strike tournament on March 22nd. I'll be there as a co commentator. Go check it out, guys. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I heard Tetris is random. We're talking about Tetras, not Tetris. They're glowfish Tetras. Is their, uh, is their, you know, their fish species. It's true, it's true. Trying to find the clip of Yajirobe ODing on Sensu. Is that something that happens, Jiffy, in Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, guys, I'm going to put the link in the chat for you guys. It's live right now, Bones. I'm going to be playing uh, Turbo tonight, Super Turbo. Twitch.tv slash fish play Street Fighter. Excellent channel. Go watch some fish play Street Fighter. They play Thirst Strike once in a while. It's amazing. Let's get back to the Kumite here, guys, if you guys don't mind. Let's do who versus who. We have Impact. Nice, dude. Nice. We got Crimson Wolf. I added Crimson. I'm sure I did. I gotta add Locust. Is what I gotta add. He's uh, not in the lobby at all. <laughs> but I'll add you anyway, Locust. But make sure you're in the lobby, please. Let's see who's next on the Kumite, guys. Let's do uh, Kromps versus Herb Durkin, please. Can we get Kromps versus Herb Durkin? That'd be great. I'm going to add Locust and Impact to the, uh, to the list. Thanks for being here, guys. This is the Herb Durkin Kumite. Herb versus the world. We're dogpiling on Herb Durkin. It's a pleasure. It's exciting. You love to see it. I gotta add in here uh, Silent Impact. Versus Herb Gherkin. And Locust. Versus Herb Gherkin. Can I just take the image of the screen mask yourself? You guys don't want to see the fish anymore? Anybody give GGP, GGPOZ a good shot yet? I have not. The, all, the most I've seen of it was you and Shotokan talking on Twitter. I don't... I feel as though... Here's my totally uneducated, speculative guess about GGPOZ, right? Here's my feeling about it. This is my, this is my intuition about GGP, GGPOZ, guys. Totally uninformed. Take it with a grain of salt. But it seems like GGPOZ... Well, I think it, well said, X. That's what I was going to say. It's woefully late. Right? Like, I think that if I... As I understand, GTPO, guys, is a totally open technology. And GTPO is what Fightcade uses for its netcode. So, I don't understand how GTPO-Z could actually end up being better than Fightcade. Fightcade also is a more popular platform. If you want to play with people that are playing Third Strike, this is the platform to have people on. And I think it would need to basically offer two things to be a real fucking competitor, right? It would need to offer a better net play experience, which again, I'm not convinced they could do. I think it, it could be equal at best. Or two, it would need to uh, have a better, you know, UI, better interface. And from what I've heard, it, it does not. It has, you know, maybe even an inferior interface, right? Which is fair because the fight K devs, all they do is interface type stuff, right? 
Like I did, they don't develop the emulator. They don't develop the netcode. They just use other emulators and use GGPO netcode, and their main job is to make the actual front end work. So what is GGPO Z? How is its front end? How does the netcode actually differ from Fightgate? It seems to me like it's just like a like a you know, like a less featureful Fightgate at best. Yeah, GGPO came out to tone box, yeah. Snacks would have named them after the Ginyu Force members, but that's just me. I mean the fish. So, so new Super Cade next, so maybe Tone Box, maybe. The GUI is terrible. Excuse me, the GUI is terrible with XO. This is an actual lobby system, so that's true. That'd make it, you know, that's one thing that Fight Cade doesn't really have. Is that true, XO? Did Fight Cade, did the netcode work? The one thing it got right is input delay. Huh? Input delay. Fight Cade actually did netcode work. Oh no. We're seeing Herb drop some punches tonight. That's perfectly fine. I would too if I were him. Oh no. You're too strong, Herb Gherkin. Like, seriously. Why so strong, dude? Let's keep it moving, guys. You guys want to get uh, maybe even uh, maybe even Sir Lord next, guys? Sir Lord versus Herb. That could be fun. From New Hell Studios. There was a lot of development and testing for the netcode on Fight K2. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Here we go. We're in there, guys. Let's go, Dizzle. Come play, dude. Show Booja! Up next is 3 Ben. I don't want to alarm you guys, but 3 Ben is next. I'm so excited. Hey, Drew's got a shot right now. Nice pressure here. Got the scoop. Clark trying to use her super in the corner. Raw. Oh, no. Could have killed her right there. Ooh, nice parry there. Oh, I got scooped up, though, again. The grab, they're doing work. Are you ready? Go. We got Locust in the lobby now, nice. As a reminder, guys, if you guys want to come play in the Kumite tonight, look at the uh, join command in the chat. Go to bruiseday.venkabot.com. If you guys don't see your name in the queue, it means you're not in the fucking queue. I must have forgot you. I apologize, it happens. I've got a lot of stuff going on. Running the stream. Sometimes I lose touch. That's one for Drew. Wow, what an upset. Do you guys prefer a square rock on joystick game? I'm not going on myself. Here's my thing, Snack. I, I appreciate that you're coming from this at a per, from a perspective of like, you know, to each their own, a matter of preference. But I'm here to tell you that Square Gate is objectively the better gate. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. It's objectively the better gate. For two main reasons. One is that when you play Tournament 3S, it's gonna be on a square gate. If you're used to playing on an octagon, you try to play in an actual arcade cab, they're doing a 3S tournament, you're gonna be fucked up. But numero dos is that octagonal gates have much smaller, um, much smaller uh, activation areas for diagonals. Which means that you're gonna have a hard time hitting diagonals if you want to, for instance, block. The only advantage to an octagonal gate is that you can ride it. You can ride it. 
right? You can kind of get a feel for the motions because you, you know, follow the gate all the way around there with your lever, with the actuator. And that's, you know, it's cool, but it's kind of a crutch when you're giving up the fact that, you know, you're giving up the, a lot of the, you know, activation area for diagonals. Welcome aboard, Rick. Welcome like Mr. Mr. from Rick. He says, here you go, Dovin, but me and Big Dave are headed to Replay Cafe on March 19th for some games. Leaning toward the 85% for sure, huh? March 19th. What day is March 19th? Let me check my calendar here. Saturday? Rick, if you and Dave go, then I too will go. I'd love to hang out with you guys here. Fade to charge, boy. Need that square gate, huh? Down for his octos, but play on square. Links feel really nice on octo, huh? It's a shoddy ride like an octo gate, huh? Oh. The thing about octo gate, like I said, is that if you want to block on short notice, if you're trying to quickly block, you have a much smaller area. You have to be much more accurate to hit that block. You have a very small area to kind of get that diagonal. Due to the fact that most of that diagonal space is totally chopped out in the octo gate. That's my main thing with them. Again, again, if you're playing, you know, I always say if you're playing on, uh, you know, on like a gamepad, let's say you're playing like a DualShock 4 or whatever, right? You're going to be disadvantaged in tournament because it's going to be on, you know, it could be on an actual arcade cap. Same is true for Octo Gate, right? If you're playing on Octo Gate, you have to switch to a square gate. It could be pretty devastating. But again, even more than that, even for games that aren't 3S, even for games that are like modern games, I really, and it's their 2D games especially, I really feel like you should play on a square gate if only to have the extra space to hit the diagonals in. Engage. I'm trying to get all the M Michigan homies to head up there for a sick session. I'll stay in touch through Twitter or Discord better. Uh, either way, Rick, either way is fine. I'm on both about equally. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. Guys, please follow twitch.tv slash poverty game. I say it all the time, guys. Follow PGN. We got Rick in the chat right now setting things up for you for Michigan. He's a leader, man. He's a natural born leader. If not for him, there is no Michigan third strike. Oh, I didn't quite connect. It's going to be punished. No. No punish. Oh, oh, here we go. Let's go, Drew. Dude, Drew has leveled up like crazy lately. Oh, it's going to be it. Oh, no, no super. Oh, let's fucking go. Sir Lord takes it in a huge upset and also a huge jump on the Bruise Day rankings leaderboard. Wow. Good games to Sir Lord and Herb Durkin. Well played, guys. Let's get to Herb Durkin now. Versus Three Venge. Ooh, Three Venge. Versus Wi Fi Kai Three Venge. Jello was born to be a frontman, spoken word performer, says Locust. Jello? You mean like J E L L O. It's alive. Third frame, Herb. Wi Fi Kai, dude. Mmm, sirloin randomator. Sirloin burger, guys. Dinty Moore, sirloin burger, aka turtle soup. What you guys know about that shit? What oh, more, Carlito? How you been, my friend? You know, it's funny, Locust. It's been my honor to. Get to know you better as a friend over the years. And based on my, you know, my familiarity with you, if you said to me out of nowhere, Jello was born to be a frontman slash spoken word performer, I would take it totally as a given. I was like, oh, okay. Wouldn't even seem odd to me. The Revenge versus her. Wi Fi Kai team kill. The raw super Jesus. I gotta move Drew. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> what was up, Jose? Got Mr. Part two in the chat. 
Got Al Zaru in the chat, aka the artist formerly known as Heroes Nothing, aka Mackenzie. Grip. Oh no, Envy says Luke gets lesson from KD. I heard some rumors, Envy, about what happens to the Wi-Fi Kaido, Jody. It's not all good. Oh, this is why you walk around so much, dude. You better meaty me. You win. All right, sometimes that fucking Wi-Fi Kai, dude, if you fuck up in tournament, and this might be, tell me if it's true or not, Envy. I heard they might sew your asshole shut, dude, and then keep feeding you and feeding you. Torture, motherfuckers. There's six chambers. I'm saying, I'm Jose. Torture. Alzaru says here, I feel bad for Jello. He's the only dude from DK that stuck to his beliefs. So Drew says, some kid threatened to do that to our teacher in fifth grade to me once. <laughs> I did not know who took at the time. It freaked me out. Jesus. And it says, that's how I got, that's how I got dose strong. I didn't get dinner if I didn't whib. You got a whib, dude. Just your nuts on the dresser. Then smash them and shift to the baseball bat, dude. So Rammer says, you hear that KD wires your eyes open and force you to watch 24 hours of friends? KD wouldn't do that, dude. KD can be a, a pretty uh, a pretty strict teacher, but he wouldn't do that. That's too much. <laughs> it says wider gates are better. <laughs> we were talking about that recently, Rick. About having wider actuators. <laughs> You big fan of friends, Dion? I'm a freaking. Uh, I'm a uh, Seinfeld fan. And Seinfeld fans, they always fight with friends fans, like uh, West Side Story, dude. Snapping our fingers and pulling out switchblades. Doodle says, then you can cook your own dinner in your dojo. Huh? That's what I'm saying. There's only Hungry Land in my dojo. Let's go, Cab Zig. I love you, have you, dude. But you, Dion, you're watching Seinfeld? Yeah, Seinfeld's one of my favorite shows, if not my favorite show of all time. Team Seinfeld is what I'm saying, dog. Team Seinfeld, ride or die. Orange says, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Should be death. Wow, it's already stunned, jeez. Herb keeps it simple. Well played, guys. Good game's a, a three venge. But if she said, I'm sure it was quite charming. Let's see here. So how do we get the next fight up, please, guys? Let's do uh, 4TL versus Herb Durkin. Can we get 4TL, please? It's the wrong, uh, wrong keyboard. At 4TL versus Herb Durkin, please. Boosted Penguin Rick? Talk about that fucking kid cuisine, dog. Kid cuisine with the brownie and the apple sauce. Never watched Seinfeld, says that uh, Ramirez. Huh? I've heard it's pretty good. I bet you Seinfeld would translate very well to Spanish. Flares is here. I think the only sitcom I've ever watched is Community. I heard it's pretty good. I've never seen it myself, Flair, but I heard it's pretty good. Snack's been listening to the It's Always Sunny for the Philly podcast, and it makes me cry laugh. Is there a podcast? What the fuck? I'm looking at mashed potatoes. That's what I'm saying, dude. That shit ain't mashed potatoes at all. Is there any actual spuds in there, dog, or is it spud free? Spud free taters? Who's gonna fight Fade and Casuals, guys? Fade's looking pretty good tonight. If I want to fight a. Pretty scary looking Yurian and Oro. Then fight this dude. The lava hot corn, Rick. Yes, dude. Don't bring your tongue. That gooey ass brownie, dude. 
The slime brownie? Uh oh. Oh, no, got more punish off that. Wow, what a scratch from 4TL. Oh, the scratch! You'll get your hands off me. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Why are you coughing, Revenge? You're all right. What's up, Bloodlust Alucard? Oh, man, I would love to get some Elena experience, huh? And fight 4TL. We also have Audrey Apples here tonight. She's an Elena player. There's hella Elena's around tonight, dude. Come play this in the lobby, man. Use that joint man if you feel like it. I'm sure it was Ramiro Cap's okay. So, uh, Seinfeld is probably the most popular sitcom like maybe in the world. And here in the United States, you know, Wait. Spanish is like second national language. So I'm sure it's in Spanish. Now, find a new Welcome to the world of so, Bloodlust just got off of work, huh? But I'm down for do some sets. Nice, Bloodlust. Nice to meet you, man. Welcome home. Well, I got the picture. That's one for 4T. I gotta make sure that we move up four here. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. She's moving on up. Ooh, the slime you fourth play out of her mind tonight. Wow. That's a smart play for all these players. Fixa, did I ask to buy the kid cuisine for the cool relating penguin or for the fake ass mushy vegos, huh? I mean, that iceberg was pretty cool. I should have probably had some kid vid shades. Oh, shit. He may have eaten fucking processed food mad cool, dude, back in the 90s. What's up, Tony the Saint? Looking forward, man. So what's gonna happen? We're all gonna OD tonight, Running Rock. Tick grips. Her friend tied up right now. Thanks, Running Rock. Yeah, use that join command, guys. There's instructions on that URL. Go to bruiseday.vengabot.com and read up. Once you're all educated, then you can join in with the rest of us here. Yeah, with the backwards hat on, dude. Plus, he's a penguin. Penguins are already pretty cool, right? By their very nature. They're literally cool. Plus, they're wearing all black. Black is always cool. Ooh, nice challenge there from 4 TL. What's up, Doc? You're kind of right, Doc. Fucking North Carolina's looking strong in the chat right now. They're born with the drift, dude, look out here. I can read some words, MV. The rest I can more or less use context clues to figure out. I can read my own name, for instance, right? As long as it's not in cursive. Ooh! That's combo from 4TL there. What's up, Snowy Armadillo? Welcome aboard. Whoa, whoa! There's a lot of bar there, but hey, got some damage. Got into Herb's head. That's a air to it's gonna be a uh, multi hit. Uh, oh, wow. Ume. Okay, now, four has full bar now. How's she gonna use it? Okay, got hit by the Sarugi air to air. Oh, no. No punish there from Herb Drinking. Oh, okay. Sick punish him for could have killed there, I think. Oh, what the hell? I like how Herb jumped away there, didn't want to get hit by the wake up super. No, the rhino horn for the win. But it worked. Good game to 4TL. She takes it. Making a huge jump up in ranking. Not that the rank super matters. We got Tony. What am I adding Tony to the queue here? Thanks, Tony. I'm also got to add to the queue here. I got to add in Capzig, maybe. I'm adding Cap Zig and Tony. Actually, I'm not going to add Cap Zig. It might just be not for casuals. Let's move on to the queue, guys. Let's add in uh, 
Uh, let's get to uh, Dion, please. Wait, Dion versus Herbdrigan? The Eternal Rivalry? I'm going to add Tony to the queue. The Rhino Horn 4 that's what I'm saying. Please. Please. I'm down for any match in case anybody wants to play this Capstick. Huh? I don't think I'm going to add Capstick to the queue, dude. Gonna add him after Tony, though. I also see Snowmad here. That's cool. Take it real bad, though. Huh? Take a deep breath, Portillo. Get some water, stretch it out a little bit. Thank you for playing. Gotta act, make sure. Oh, Dion's not even in this fucking uh, in the system yet, is he? He's not a part of your fucking system. I'm gonna elevate this dude. Guys, tonight is the Herb Dirk and Kumite. He's fighting everybody. This dude don't stop fighting, man. We're all getting some Makoto experience. Not just from playing with her, but also watching her play. If you guys have any thoughts or questions, you guys need any advice, if you guys uh, are saying, like, what can I do in this situation, let us know. We have some very smart players in the chat who would love to help you out. Nobody has all the answers, of course. But some people got some of the answers, for sure. That much is a given. Walk it out, and we gotta walk it out. I'm gonna add Tony to the queue here, as well as Ramiro Capsi. I think he's Captain Zig, or is he just Cap Zig? I think it's just Cap Zig. Ooh, wow. Fucking EX Fuki out me. EX Sudugi. Nice Crash Strong and Super there from Dayan. Ooh, Dragon Pionch. Oh, no. Herb dashes up and does nothing. You might want to update the title of the stream from Kumte with Goss to Herbs is Rick, huh? Good idea, dude. Good idea. I didn't think about that, dude. They also cross some guys off here. Final round. Go for it. Oh my yeah. For the mitten, Rick, for the mitten. Look oh, yeah, at Guardian Angel, Rick. Brock says here, third strike tip, mash DP on wake up, 60% of the time, it works every time. Well said. The sea was angry that day, my friends. I reached my hand in, felt around, and pulled out the obstruction. It is that a titleist? Oh yeah, fucking <laughs> talk about fucking Seinfeld quotes. I had no idea Sugi was a special. I just thought that one of her buttons was really, really good. Dude, all of her buttons are mad good for TL, for sure. All of her buttons are really, really good. But the Sugi is a special. Let me go take Rick's advice and change the uh, stream title. Now, find a new rival. I dropped some frames here. I apologize, guys. There you go. Now we're all updated here, guys. Ken Master of his domain. Oh, Lord Eat. How you doing, my friend? Into the heat of battle. Go for it. 
staying on the fucking, you know, staying in the lighty, or you fall into the dark. He's the kind of guy that likes to keep, you know, one foot in the light, one foot in the dark. That's what you want to do. In the Kumite, I don't know how to spell it. Does the person involved have to play the same character in every fight? No, not at all, dude. They can switch it up, but Herb is a character specialist. Herb, you know, plays a similar character. I think he actually played with, uh, with Yurian for a while. But Herb is a Makoto player through and through. I'd say two, in fact. So Tony here plays uh, Makoto. Her jumping medium kick is scrub down to there. Yeah, that's a really strong button. You What's up, Banana Tree? It's Diane. Let's go, dude. Dude, now, Banana Tree. Oh, my board. You were featured very recently in a YouTube video on the Venkabot YouTube channel. We had the pleasure of having you on for, I think, only one stream last year. It finally went live on YouTube, and I was like, wow, this guy's pretty fucking sick. Oh, wow. Holy shit, that was sick. Just playing Valheim and working on this new record. That's nice, Steve. But here, keeping busy in more ways than one. Not surprised to hear that, though. It was kind of crazy to see how I played like half a year where you level up a lot, Banana Tree. Sometimes leveling up is kind of non-linear, right, Banana Tree? Sometimes you, you know, you feel like you've gotten stronger, but then you watch yourself your old footage and you're like, wow, I actually was better at some things before. There's some things I was doing back then that I don't really feel as comfortable doing now. I had a lot of success doing them, too. But I think over time it all kind of evens out. You kind of, you know, it's kind of like a, like an uneven leveling process. But you're always going upward. Am I good? E done all right, E. We're playing third strike. Can't complain about that. Tomorrow is Saints Row, dog. I'm excited about that. I was way worse this pantry, huh? Still played Aura. Oh no. Who would play Aura except for half the guys in this lobby? Flip synapse. Thanks for the sub, man. Got yeah, the very last round here. Herb versus Diane. These two are eternal rivals. Go. If you guys want to be like Diane and be Herb's eternal rival, follow him at twitch.tv slash Herbdurgan. Spelled same as you see on the screen right now. Well, there's the uh, stun. It's not going to be able to kill here, I don't think. Hmm, that was weird. Interesting trade. Oh, sick confirm from Diane there. Challenging, got a whole bar left. Oh, same side, that was gross. That was mad ambiguous. That should have been good. Oh, that's a safe! Oh, what a sick punish from Diane! Evens it up! Throw tap! Caught her dashing! Last chance for her! Oh no, down let's throw the corner. That should have been good. Online justice. Oh, crouching forward. Wow, what a set! What a set. Well played. Hey, what's up, Izana Edwards? Izana is like the, um, the spookadoodle of the decoy man's dimension. We got Snowman here. Nice to add Snowman to the queue here. We got Captain Zig, too. We got Bloodlust Locust. Excuse me, Bloodlust, not Blood Lud. <laughs> Bloodlust Locust. I'll add you guys to the queue here in a minute here. But first, let's get uh, Aura Aura Orange, please, versus Three Venge in our uh, second exhibition of the night. Can we get Aura Orange versus Three Venge, please? That's Y, Fi, Kai, Three Venge. Yo, good night, Diane. Sleep well, dude. Sleep well. Then we got our second exhibition. Give Herb a little bit of a break. Herb been grinded. Fighting Tony Orange? Oh, no. Typical Three Venge, man. He's trying to fight everybody at once. It's his Three Venge's thing. He's not happy fighting just one dude. That's why I dumped my old ex-girlfriend, man. She always wanted to, you know, fight with more than one dude at a time. On Fight Cade. Here we go. Let me add some more guys in the queue here. We gotta add in uh, Bloodlust Alucard and Snowman. Are you ready? Go! Oh, 
I don't know who Mantis is. Is that Chewie's not ever? Do you know who Mantis is? Maybe he had amnesia. Like in the soap operas. It's been known to happen, guys. It's gonna be a long one, Rock. It's gonna be a long one. That's a close match. I'd love to see it, though. Is that Chewie you want in the queue, dog? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's coming backwards, though. Eat at eat. Right? Or I had it right before. I had it right before. Eat at eat? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know, eat! Let me at him, let me at him! Typical eat, dude. On some scrappy dude type shit. On some puppy power type shit. So I got it in the end, dude. I got it in the end. Because I might actually do back in the day. Once again, guys, as a reminder, if you guys don't see your name in the queue at bruiseday.venkabout.com, then you ain't in the queue. And if you have to let me know if I uh, missed you, I forgot you, I apologize. Sometimes there's a lot to manage all this stuff on stream. Let's go three bench. There's one over orange. Now. A new it's pretty tough, Herb. It's pretty tough, man. It's exhausting. That's why all the guys have done these kumites in the past. They're heroes. In my eyes, they're heroes. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. They're legends. They're gods walking amongst us. Because Herb is showing signs of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, fatigue. I'm gonna reformat the queue here, guys, to let Herb live. After his 20 fights, which means I'm gonna change up who's fighting who in the end here. We're gonna see Tony versus Capzig, for instance. I was pushing Herb past 20 opponents. Because I know Herb is a monster. But even monsters bleed. So I'm gonna reformat this. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Well said. Okay. Orange has the corner now. These two are kind of the same color, huh? Yeah, I'm colorblind as fuck. Maybe I'm totally off. But to me, they kind of look the same. Kind of like Ken versus his grandpa. There's something out there, and it ain't no man. I want to make a horror movie locust. Where the protagonist looking out the window. He's like, wait, what's that on the lawn? It's, it's, what is that? I think it's some dude. Is that some dude? That'd be a pretty good line. What's up, Lambda? Drew says Predator, top tier movie, huh? But not second one, though. Schweppes. Dragon Pionch. I gotta move Dayan to his rightful position, to his station. I think that's some dude out there. And then maybe in the movie, maybe the guy opens the front door for that, and he's like, Hey! Hey! Then he waits, and he's like, Who are you? That'd be the name of the movie, Snack, some dude. Maybe like the fucking, the fucking 
Doo Doo Man, or the movie was called, right? What was that called? The, the, the Snoo Snoo Man? The Bye Bye Man, that's what it was. The Bye Bye Man, right? This would be just called Some Dude, the movie. And the trailer would be like the fucking protagonist going, I don't know that dude! Was it Painfully Saw Doodle? He went to bed, sure, you're right. Yeah, he went to bed already. It was great. Grip. Oh my god. Oh, you didn't get the combo that you wanted there. <laughs> Last round here, guys. Jizo Pete's. Final round. Engage. Lambda cheering for his uh, Wi Fi Kai team member. His dojo mate. Uh oh. Is that a punish? Holy shit. It's a super, though. Him with the stones, dude. Snack us here. If Shark Nado can have three movies, then some dude can exist. Probably already exists somewhere out there in the independent movie space. What's up, Oscar? The link is bruiseday.drinkbot.com. Use that join command in the chat. Oh my god. That was sick. Good games, gentlemen. Before we jump back into the Herb, uh, Dirk, and Kumite, uh, I want to have a peek at uh, a little YouTube channel you guys might know. YouTube.com slash C slash Mutant Experience, guys. Go subscribe to Mutant. He has a new video as of yesterday. It's him interviewing What Up Neem as a part of the Mutant XP podcast, which is a super great podcast for learning about Third Strike, learning lore, Learn about what's going on in the community. Mutant is the uh, is the uh, lead director for the Jazzy Circuit. He has got his uh, he's got his influence uh, all over 3S, and it's a great thing. He's a great guy, and he's been uh, an amazing contributor and supporter of Third Strike for many many years. If you guys want to learn more about 3S, then check him out on YouTube. Please give him a follow there. Drop a sub. I'm begging you. Speaking of Jazzy guys, don't forget that. Uh, we have a kind of like a hiatus here, excuse me. We have like a, a short hiatus after the recent uh, Winter Showdown event at Akihabara in uh, Westminster, Colorado. The next event is going to be the Lone Star Cup at Free Play Arcade in uh, April, April 16th. That's going to be in uh, Arlington, Texas. That's DFW area. Dallas, Fort Worth. If you guys are down there in the south, go check it out. I'm sure it's great. Get a little preview of what the Jazzy finale is going to be like. It's going to also be at, uh, at uh, Free Play Arlington. That'll be cool, guys. Go check it out. And after that, guys, I'll meet you guys at uh, Indianapolis Boss Battles Games. I'll be there hanging out with the End Cruise boys. I can't wait. But, uh, yeah, before that, guys, check out Lone Star Cup. DFW Tejas. Let's see what's going on now with Herb Durkin. Let's see if he's feeling energized now after a short break. Can we get Aurora Flare, please, versus Herb Durkin? That'd be an honor. Can we get Aurora Flare, please, versus Herb Durkin? Or do I got to beg? Good old bloodlust. <laughs> 